Kamusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Balance. I'm your host for today, Marky Mark. Well, in this segment, we have a full segment strictly for Top Shop because right now it's off season, but it's awesome because you guys get to meet one of my homeboys that I met through Twitter who's got an awesome collection, a Top Shot OG. He goes by the name of Stay Mellow on Twitter. Jermaine, how you doing, bro? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for having me, bro. Awesome. No, thank you for taking your time to come through. And, and no I love problem. about this is we get to share your story and, and, and Top Shot's story. Everybody knows on our show about my story in Top Shot. But now we get to meet and, and, and share stories of other collectors and OGs collectors in, in Top Shot and shows. Um, yes, sir. Maybe we could we could start off with um, your a little bit about yourself. Like, how did you kind of discover Top Shot? Where did it come from? Like, you know, what's your story behind it? Um, it's a crazy story because I like to tell people Top Shot found me, man. You know, yeah. um, as you know, I'm on Twitter a lot, and I think just one day I was just scrolling, you know, just doing the Twitter thing, and just bam, it was just right there. And from that day, I, I knew I had to be a part of it. That's good to hear, man. Like. What was that? Do you remember the exact post that kind of like hooked you in? Like, what is this? Or the exact kind of moment where you like kind of dig dig uh, dig into the details about Top Shot and kind of just said, you know what? I'm, uh, let me let me get through this. <laughs> Look through um, it. Yeah. So again, like I, I feel like Top Shot found me because it was around the same time where I was looking for a new investment, right? So yeah. it's like once I seen that and I found out that I could not only one get to collect, I get to invest as well. I was sold, man. I was sold. It was a done deal for me. <laughs> what What was your first impression of it? Like looking through, it, like for example, I'm pretty sure it looks completely different. Maybe a bit close cool. to what it. Yeah, hundred like, percent cool. I'm a I'm I'm a basketball fan. Hundred <laughs> diehard. Hundred percent diehard. Like it, again, it was just a done deal, man. <laughs> were were you like the first few in them. your like the first like in your friends or maybe in your circle of friends that kind of discovered it and say, hey, like Definitely. let me look. Did you? Did you ask anybody about it? Like, what was your nope. uh, sentiment when you said? Nope. R I just did it randomly, and yeah. I fomoed in. And <laughs> luckily, um, I was waiting for about, like, a week or two, and I was just getting so antsy, and I think I hit up Roham, and Roham is the one who actually got me in. For real? Yeah. Around, yeah. What, time, around what time did you... When the, or around what time did you discover Top Shot then? So, I, I just passed my one-year anniversary in uh, June, so... About like end of May, June, I started. Wow! Congrats, man. Year. That's a, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's. But what was it like in the beginning? Like when you kind of hit up the like Roham and responded. Like when you're looking through Top Shot and like the platform, the marketplace, and the packs. What was it like? Like I'm pretty sure it's completely different from now. It was. Right? It was completely brand new, buddy. There was no tools. There was no yeah. marketplace. There was. There was nothing. It was just a bunch of people just interacting with each other, right? So. Yeah. When I got in first to the Discord, I, I had a post of it maybe like a, a week or two ago where um, it was my first tweet or my first uh, Discord message, sorry. And I was just asking them, hey, how do I get a pack? How do I, hey, I'm trying to be a part of this, you know? And here we are today. That's, that's insane, man. Yeah, uh, man. That's always, like, I've always enjoyed hearing, hearing what it's like because a lot of um, my experience has been closer to the uh, February, March area. So I've always been right. curious what it was like earlier in the days of, of, of and, and it's good to hear what it's like, right? I know that the Discord are completely blown up in proportion terms, like, but in the beginning, like, how was it like um, kind of like talking through the Discord? Like, maybe you guys are probably yes. showing pack polls, right, into the, in the Discord too? I think I could speak for 90% OGs where I could say the earlier days were the best days. Yeah. <laughs> the best days. Packs were staying on shelf for days. There was no fighting. There was no cues. There's nothing. It was just, hey man, believe in us and we might reward you February 22nd or something. It, it, it did. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. I like how like, there was an exact date where we knew where Top Shot kind of just exploded from like, hey, <laughs> yeah. like from the early days, like what was like, what was, do you remember the first pack that you ever pulled? Or a first pack that you ever snagged and what was the you know moments inside that pack? Um, well, okay, so I remember the first pack I bought, I think was an EA pack. That's what uh the early adopters. That's just yeah. And I can't remember exactly what I pulled in it, but I was excited. <laughs> but um my first rare pack was throwdowns. So that's when I first got in. The first throwdown pack, right? Yeah. Oh no way. I, I tried to get a hollow cosmic, but I think I just missed the boat on that. 
Oh, like yeah. because like everybody was snagging it. Like, is that? Yeah. How you... Yeah. Oh, wow. And I was just so new to like crypto and Top Shot yeah. and everything. It's just you know, I it's okay. <laughs> well, like you know, like at times, like you think you're early, but then you're, you're still earlier than early at times. At some point, like you know, right. over time with these projects, right? Do you remember the first one that you purchased off the marketplace? Uh, that, how long did it took? <laughs> that again, I don't know, but I know for sure it was either a Nyx moment, a Mellow moment, or I think a Toronto Raptor moment. Yeah, that's dope, man. Because yeah, you know yeah. it goes by the name of your Twitter handle. It's Stay Mellow, right? What? Yeah. Why Mellow? Is there like you know have you been a Knicks fan ever since? Or... That's my favorite player. He's been my favorite player rookie year. <laughs> so I'm 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 one of the diehards that'll tell you if not. Co rookie of the year, Carmelo Anthony deserved rookie of the year. That that year wasn't. I mean, if it wasn't like LeBron was just like not that good, it would have been exactly. like you know, because exactly. like Dwayne Wade had a good rookie year, uh, Melo had a great rookie year, Bosch had yep. a pretty decent rookie year in that year, but just LeBron is LeBron, you know, <laughs> the chosen one, the chosen one. <laughs> like, do you think like Melo played his best years at Denver or New York? Like, or is that his an argument? Best for years. I, I like mature Melo in New York, yeah. Yeah. but Cornrow Carmelo, he was a different <laughs> beast. <laughs> he was a beast, man. Like, he was yeah, just man. a straight-up offensive beast. Like, I mean, even when Iverson came through, he still averaged it's like 20, over 20 points per game. Like, it goes to show, right? He's just... You know. Right. And, and, and I guess, like, you know, before we kind of end off this segment with the story of Top Shot, like, um, what, were, what were you probably favorite or best moments that you remembered in the early days of Top Shot? Um, it's still to this day. It is uh, my finals LeBron legendary moment. Woo. So when that pack dropped, right? Yeah. I wasn't able to secure the pack. And yeah. back in the days, if you kept refreshing the page, you might be able to see some restock because of um, orders that didn't go through, right? Yeah. So... I was there for like five or 10 minutes just refreshing. Like, come on, please, please, please. And luckily I snagged the pack, man. And I opened it and bam, LeBron James. And it was the happiest day of my Top Shot life, man. It still is, to be mm. honest. On, the, people don't understand how valuable a, final, a LeBron legendary moment is, especially if yeah. it was a Series 1. So, I mean, to that's me, congrats. To me, that. I, I, I don't know. To me, I think it was waiting for me, you know? I don't know. Yeah, I like yeah. to think that. Yeah. No, that's, that's good to hear, man. Well, like, you know, before we end off the segment, I want them to stay tuned because out of the story of Jermaine and Stay Mellow, we're going to come back and we're going to show to a little bit of some of the collection that he has, but also look through some of the challenges and some of his pack pulls that we can look through from his Top Shot collection. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Stay tuned.